come off the back. Um, I think that's not doing anything towards like my health. Hmm. Okay. What else can I do? I know it wants me to like complete shit. I'll tell you that much, but I'm not doing that just yet. Doing any amount of quests would be so useful, but like a burial quest would be deadly right now. There's also a deer over there. As well. I just can't, I, I can't like attack that. Although I should get this loaded back up. I noticed that it like unloads after a while. But yeah, I'm down to like 720. There must be, apart from the fact that I'm next to a building, there's got to be a couple of zombies in the area or something. There's that deer. Can I get you? I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. Oh. These things got drop off. There's no way that hit then. Yeah, no, that's not getting all the way over there. Can I try a little bit further higher? No, it's going to be going clear over it. I can help. There can't be that much drop off at this range, right? I would imagine. I had to have hit it. It didn't, but I mean, I could still wish that it did. I at least get some practice on this motherfucker. What is on oh, my bed rolls over there? I was going to say, I'm like, what is that alerting me to on the, um, no. It's also because it's quiet. It's not like letting it know anything. Really interesting. I'm fucking terrible with this thing. It's amazing. All right. So if I can't make any tools or anything like that, Clearing out this place of Grim's space is going to be definitely challenging. I would like to make some cobblestones um, myself, but I'm going to have to wait a bit. Um, I don't have a lot of clay. I do have a fair bit of, like, rocks, but nothing like what Grim obviously had. I'm guessing he's, like, dug a hole or something out that way. Actually, I should be able to see it on the map. If he dug a hole, I know he was taking on a couple of rocks. At one point along this line here. So if he dug down anywhere, it should show up as like a little bit. Where did I start? Hold on. I guess we kind of started up over there. So um, there's a little spot there that's a bit off kilt. That could be dug. Maybe. Either that or it's a hell of a fucking rock. I'd say that's probably where it's been dug out. Go and investigate, maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to like, oh shit, hold on. What is that? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of what, iron? Jesus. Let's mark that up. Iron mine for sure. Come back to that because that's also got, it's got stone and nitrate nearby. That was the one that I was over near before where I was like, oh, that'll be near iron. But there's so much iron out there. I do like random maps for that. There's another good spot there, but you can't beat that. That's like, it's got nitrate, it's got stone, but it's got so many nodes of iron. It's mental. What else we got? We've got steel. I'm not going to be able to mine steel for a while. I don't have good tools for that. I've been just digging. There's another little spot there that looks like that little dug bit. It could be dug out. It could be natural spawn. I don't know. I kind of do. I just want to go into the wastelands and build. But I know I'm not I'm not gonna have that ability yet. Plus I'm gonna also need to upgrade my boxes too. I do think that adding cobblestone will help make a stronger wall. I also don't know what it's gonna do for my kind of like base. So last time I had the water base, which I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find that, because this is a random map, right? So last time I had that, I had like a little space upstairs and it was kind of great. Um like it would, it would just out like on the open up the top of the roof kind of thing. But I think if I did it this time, realistically, I probably should do it on the second floor inside the main building instead of going up the little skinny tower. I think that might work better. Although I was contemplating cutting off that building. Coming back to taunt me, you stupid deer. Man. That had to have missed. Like, I know it's missing. Ugh. Come on. Ah, oh, wall. I didn't even notice the wall. 
Mind you, that place looks solid. That has to be slightly different. It is random map. It's not going to be exactly. I'm not even hitting it. Back to Snake Zero. Off is good, by the way. Yeah, you're inside like a little hut thing, though. I've got like six and I'm outside, but I'm also firing arrows. So I'm not, I'm not helping my hiding. But there's like no zombies out here. I'm curious when we're going to get our first horde. But then again, I've still got jacket on. This is day three and I've still got jacket on. I haven't leveled. Mind you, how many times have I died? Nine. Okay, I've I've killed 40 enemies, but I've died nine times. Is it a group of snakes? Fucking hell. Um Was it? I missed that. that I'm not. Not in the treehouse, I'm on the ground. Oh, are you? I am. Are you really on the ground? It's a bit risky. There's a leaper over there. There's a leaper at the house over there. And he's, he's at the door. Looks like a bunch of boxes next to it. Mm, I gotta get water. I guess that's the first zombie I've seen for a while tonight. I'm curious um, about hordes though. I don't know what that's going to be like. I like to play it risky, Nomadic is a good example. I always thought about trying Nomadic and like getting around where like you can only like build stuff but you have to kind of like leave it there and walk off. But I just couldn't like... What? A weapon one? Oh, thank you, Bubba. I couldn't bring myself to go Nomadic. I like building too much. And another shoddy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I could just imagine using the shotgun in the, like, thick of the night. Actually, I got, um, hold on. Can I get those? Hmm, okay. Oh, it, oh, I didn't realise that's how you use it. I've never used them. That explains some stuff. Um, what do they do? They do power attack damage. They do additional damage. That wouldn't be too bad, but I don't want to melee my enemies. The pump shotgun. I'm still going to try to avoid using some guns for a little bit. Just because, like, with the feral sense on, I'm just going to bring zombies in like crazy with that. But if I can hold on to it, if I've got the space, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll have to sell it. And just see how it goes. I'm, like, 12 over encumbered. My health is nearly back, though. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me that. She's not currently hungry, but it could help the health. I don't... I guess my knee? Hold on. Abrasion. Okay, I'm thinking that's what's affecting my maximum health. Is there anything I can think of? Oh yeah, I see you. Where'd the leaper go then? It was like... Right at the door before, and now... Oh, there it is. Hmm, Okay. Um, I'm down to a seven. I don't know how that didn't see you, Grim. I, I can see you now. I'm hungry and thirsty. Time to feed the animals. Oh, no. Have you got a bed rolled down? Because there's a zombie right there. It's going for you. I can't even hear that zombie from here. Oh, you do. Cool. <laughs> I was trying not to do that. I've been trying not to let them kill me. But you guys have been making it so fucking hard for me. Like nine deaths. Nine deaths in under three days. That's incredible. That's more than I've ever had in the first week of playing any fucking seven days game. It's truly outstanding. I saw this bed roll over there somewhere. I've been trying to feed my person. Been trying to keep her hydrated. Trying to heal her up. Like all the things. I'm trying to I'm trying to be right by her. I need more wood. I'd like to get like a stack of 500 blocks, but I'm gonna need the wood to back it up too. Oh, there's another zombie over there actually. I didn't even see you. 
That'd be why I'm at like an eight. I wouldn't have been able to see him in the black suit over in like the under the trees and shit. Oh man. I did say that when it comes to nighttime, it's going to be a little like slow placed. That's why I said like it's a great time if you guys feel like having a chat and stuff or um, telling me about your day and, and whatnot, how your weekend was. Like now's the perfect time for it. Let's see if I can hit you. Why did that guy run out? The hell? That guy like came running out of that bush for nothing. That was weird. Real weird. I'm really tempted. Don't get me wrong. I'm real tempted to get out the gun and just like shoot them. And then bring like a whole bunch of zombies in. But there's no way I could take them. Even once daytime comes, there's nothing I could do. It's just death. Like when we go in to clear out this building, it's going to be difficult. It's almost morning. Maybe he didn't like the look of that bush. I'd say he didn't like the look of that fence because holy fuck did he run from it. I thought maybe you'd stepped out or something into a clearing. But then I saw you over there and I'm like, no. Oh, no. It's almost morning. Like, we'll have these two to deal with as well. There's at least two doors on this place. There's one on the side over there somewhere and there's one on the front. So... I guess that's, oh, why are they walking over towards me? This guy's getting real close. When I jump down, like, it has to be morning. I can't jump down sooner or they'll, they'll outrun me. This is interesting. So when we had Feral Sense on last time, it was on at night time. And that was, I think, the first time I streamed seven days. And fucking hell was it hard to do. Um... There's a rabbit just in there. And there was just like ugh, every every night, as soon as it turned night time, you had zombies could detect you, but they could move. Oh, I leveled. I finally leveled. Hmm. I can get pack mule now. There's so many things that I need other than that. Hold on. Okay, pack mule is something I want, but is there anything I could do better? Mining would be great. What would tool nipper be? Increase tool damage, block damage, 30%. Uh, I would get resources faster, but I'm mostly doing like hand stuff, mother load. You have a 20% more from ore stone. Brain blocks and trees with any axe, pick, shovel, chainsaw, auger. Uh, I can hear you coming, mate. Mm. I could get resources faster or I could carry things easier. Uh, I'm going to go with mother load for the first time. Thanks, Grim. I heard him coming. Oh fuck, how did you backhand me, you cunt? Jesus. This guy like full on fucking backhand pimp slapped me. Not okay with that. Come on, mate. Ah! Shit! Fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit. No. Um. Hmm, yeah. I don't think I can heal from that. Um, I have one health. I have one health and I've, oh, what is this already up here for? Yeah, I, I can't heal that. Um, you don't heal it yourself. There could be some resources in here. If I stand up here, I could probably bow an arrow some of these bastards. Um, if you want to like try to melee them, I'll go around towards the front end of this wall. Right, stay up here. There's one guy I can see here. The only way I'll be able to like stay alive during this. Oh, that hit the wall. Hold on, maybe I can get on the roof. That's that's a gamble. I could make it onto that one. Give me a love. Come on. You stay away from Grim. Right, I think this one might have died on her own. Hey mate. What are you doing in there? Whoops. Completely missed. Alright. There's one more over that way. Alright. I'm probably actually kind of glad I made this now. Alright. I'll have to reclaim my arrows in a little bit. Is there actually an underground area here? I'm not seeing it. Oh, fucking hell. Let me repair that. Maybe I can get up onto this. Yep, I can get up here. Um, 
Yeah, I don't see an underground here. No, it says the other place. It's still a pretty fucking well secured building. You're gonna you're gonna draw them out from inside, are you? And I'm not hearing any zombies yet. I know that they've got to be there. I don't know. There they go. Oh, I can see a radio tower in the background. Hold on. I can see a red radio tower out in the distance. There might be an underground. Well, that's what we were hoping, but Grim reckons this is a different one. Um, Grim normally, like, shacks up in these uh, cemeteries and stuff. So he's normally pretty familiar with them, and I haven't seen one that looks like this that's fully enclosed. But it's a random map too, so it could just be. But just because it's random. Also, welcome in. Um, I'm terrible with names, so please correct me if it's, like, atrociously wrong. But is it lay, uh, Lacey? Please let me know. I'm fucking terrible with names. Is there any more in there? Loot here, place down, box soon. All right. Um, all right, hold on. Yeah, if you, you want to loot out your stuff, if you want to land claim this, this will be yours. It'll be all yours. So, hey, and don't worry, I have no idea. It's from TNA. All right. Um, if you don't mind me calling you Lacey, um, that'd be awesome. I'm just atrocious with fucking names. Like, it doesn't have to be too complicated. Like, it can be, like, two or three letters and I can still fuck it up. Um, there's probably going to be a heap of stuff to dig out here too, Grim. All this kind of, like, dead, uh, what do you call it? Dead bodies and stuff too. Um, I haven't gone inside. Well, I did go inside, but there's not much. Yeah, I normally go for, well, I used to go for the old um, cathedral kind of places, but uh, I'm looking for the water tower in the wastelands, but I've got this set to warrior, so I don't want to go into wastelands yet because everybody's taken the time to be so gracious and killed me exceptionally a lot. So it's been really, really difficult. Um, I haven't really, I've only just got my first level at day three. It's been something. Um, but yeah, Grim, if this is your spot, if you're all good, I might head out. Oh, you got double doors. You got fancy. Look at the shit. You got fancy doors. Um, yeah, I'm going to go keep collecting wood for a bit. And maybe, maybe make some cobblestone. Because Grim's got the right idea. He made a whole bunch of like, um cobblestone blocks and if I want to build out in the wastelands I'm gonna need something a bit stronger than wood. So I used to have this like water tower base way way back before I started streaming and um oh new boat oh that's not too bad um yeah I used to have this really nice water tower base so it's like basically a fortress and I'd kind of like to make it again if I could find it but I had it in the desert originally and I think it would be really fucking hard to have that on this type of map and in the wastelands. But the wastelands is the only place I haven't built in yet. So I kind of need to do that. Um, my last place was like in the Ashlands. It wasn't too bad. It was just like a self-made house. As you know, just whatever. A little two-story house. Kind of nice. This is where I pop my bedroll for the moment. I am out of stamina. That's right. I'm like almost dead. All right. I might have a drink. Hold on. Um, I see your chicken. Oh, yeah. I'm curious if those land near me or if they land between us. Um, it's only, oh, cool. One of these should be mine. I think one should be Grimm's. What is that? Do you want a pipe machine gun, Grimm? Is this? I bet this is his. Oh, oh wait. I can push this around. Hey Grim, you got a box out here near the trader. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me move it over here. <laughs> uh, this is only my second time using the integration, so I'm I'm adjusting to it. Maybe I can put it inside the traders. That would be safer. Hold on. <laughs> it's inside the traders, Grim. There you go. Nice and safe. <laughs> um. I'm trying to avoid using like guns and stuff like that for a little while. I'd love to actually, I could probably slap down a box across the way and put that gun in that if he wants it. Because 
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to avoid uh, advancing too fast. Which honestly isn't isn't too difficult at the moment. At the moment, I've got like as I said, I have like that bugger all fucking weapon. Um, what do you call it? The XP. That's that's the word. So I've barely got like any XP. I've died so many times, and I know that as soon as I actually get past my like jacket mode, I'm just gonna die. I'm I'm just not gonna recover that much XP. Let's see. Can I have? something that actually does like good healing that's only five i could get that from food sorry he says something about it but um i hope you come back and see me. uh no i have a um you've got a crate inside the trader gen um inside the inside the doors um i just pushed it in there i'm also gonna put maybe a box outside perhaps and there'll be a gun in it if you want to use it. There's a pipe machine gun. Let me know if you want to use that. I might save that because Mirthless or somebody else might jump in at some point. Um, did you push? Good. Oh, man. I have I fucking rammed that box right in there, Grim. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see. Is there anything better healing-wise? Just cure. Cure. Mm, 40 health? A lot of water take back. <laughs> Grim's lost it. Yeah, let's see if I can grab that. That'll give me at least 40 health to kind of like get around for the day. Thanks I don't, the business. I sold these like only a short while ago. That and you don't do, you give me a lot of water though. So they'll hit me up with both. I'll do it. Oh God, I'm fast. All right. If I can remember to shut doors. There's, oh, there's Grim. Yeah, your box is over here. Um, It might be, it might be a little manhandled. Wait. Where'd it go? It was right here. What the fuck? Did it go back outside? No? Oh, you already got it. Oh, thank God. I thought. Okay, do you want the do you want the pipe machine gun? Was it received points for being top helper? Nice, Bobber. Um, let me know if you want that. I know you'll be like running with guns pretty much straight up. Nah, I like Ruffle. Alright. Yeah, I'll save that for Mathless to see if he wants that. Because um I'm trying to get, trying to get like level two and up kind of weapons and stuff, you know. Like I've got uh, vehicle boxes and stuff like that. They're disabled, so we can't like advance too quickly. Not that that's going to happen because, well, leveling is fucking difficult. And yeah, the zombies are hard, so that makes it a lot more difficult. All right, I'm gonna have to get out here, and I don't want hops. So actually, probably ditch this rifle and stay with shoddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's no worries. I know you prefer to play with the shotguns and stuff. I just try to stay away from the guns for about as long as I can manage, which honestly, this mode is um, making that questionable. Usually I try my hardest to kind of like wait until I was like about mid game before I'd start using guns because ammo and all that to keep up with is difficult. But um, the zombies are harder this time. Come here. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Back here. There we go. I can try to run me down while I'm on an energy drink. I don't think so. Alright, that should be... I should have about two or three chickens worth of meat now. I guess that's two chickens worth of meat. Oh, Alright, I'm going to go up towards the wastelands and have a look at what I can see from the outside near the edge. I don't want to go in there yet because, you know, dogs, bears, other other zombies, possibly ferals. Like, that's all going to be a problem. Also, we've got feral sense set on, so during the day the zombies can just find us. Just detect us. Um, yeah, great. Yeah, so I'm going to guess there's a building up here somewhere. The zombie tigers. I wish that would be a nightmare. Okay, so they were bringing in more animals. I got I got excited because I forgot what animals already existed in um, seven days the other day. It's only been two months since I last played and I fucking forgot everything. Right, so I saw that they had like pictures of like, you know, the lions more like, you know, a proper like mountain lion looking thing and then they were like, uh, I think the boars are going to change to pigs and... What's the other one? I saw they brought in a skin for the coyotes. Which I often refer to dingoes because, you know, Australian, so why not? 
and um, I got really excited thinking, oh, God, they brought in a, a kind of like wild dog. That's fantastic. And then it occurred to me like, I don't know, an hour later that, wait a minute, they've always had coyotes. I just like don't register them when I see them for some reason. I thought it was pretty funny. Basically, the last time I was playing, I was playing with the sledgehammer as well. And I, every time I came up to a coyote, I had too much like power and I basically like launched it like, you know, a golf club and golf ball kind of situation. Um, it was a little excessive. But let's see if I can get up close enough. There's a few cars on the edge here. I might be able to scavenge if there's no dogs. There's a big house. I don't know what that place is. Yeah, that's the one with the underground bunker. I don't want anything with, well, what a tower has got underground, but I'll close that in. Aaron, what do you reckon the odds of a dog being right here are? There's a stop sign over there. So I walked in here and it lagged, so now I'm worried about... Oh, whenever I get lag in seven days, there's usually a horde loading in. Let's so I'd be digging away, collecting clay and making cobblestone blocks. Ah, oh, fuck off. No. I said no. We didn't want no dogs. I knew it as soon as I walked in here. Fuck off. Fuck off. You're gonna kill me. Fuck. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have gone in there. I don't even know if I actually got the loot out of the thing. Fuck it. Ah, oh, Dogs. Dogs is this. F for respects. <laughs> All right, I'm back down at Trader. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up there. What did Grim say before I died? Oh, yeah, he was digging for cobblestone and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some. I think it's a good idea because I don't think I'm gonna keep um, wasteland zombies out with just uh, you know the regular blocks. I think if I was out here, maybe. Maybe that might work, but not in the wastelands. It's going to be a nightmare making a base in the wastelands. Imagine that. During the day, you have all these warrior level fucking zombies happen to like stack up on the outside of your building and then it goes nighttime. And then you've got fast warrior level zombies. They can run faster than you. Right, it's just going to be a nightmare. I'm still going to try. I've never had a base in there and I didn't get a look at anything that looked like a water tower near the building. Like I said, I don't even know if they're going to have that with a random generated map. It could be. If there's a graveyard in the wastelands, I might transfer over later. Yeah. Grim has had a couple of like wasteland fucking cemeteries and it's nuts. Like he does really well out there. Uh, the amount of bears that his place attracts, so it's hilarious. There was this, oh shit, hey mate. There was this one time I went to visit Grim in the middle of the wastelands and he had like his cemetery out there and I'm like, do you realize you've got four bears out here? So Grim goes running outside with a fucking hunter's knife or something and just decides to like just rip into them all melee style. No issues. This is unbearable. No Grim. Oh man. I already knew that that was going to happen. Um, I was waiting for that joke, actually. From the moment I said I wanted to build out in the wastelands, I've been waiting for Grim to say it. I once jumped on a car just to escape from a dog and zombie. It was a good idea but until the car blew up. Oh, man. I forgot that the cars blew up. Um, was it one that was, like, mostly, oh, it'd be your own vehicle. That's right. Your own personal vehicles, they blow up. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's not such a great idea. Like, it's good if you can get away from them. Um, I did something similar. I loaded into a friend's game once, and the first thing I did was, like, ran to the wastelands and took on a bear <laughs> and, like, just killed the bear with a spear as, like, this low-level character. And he's like, the fuck did you just go and do? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I went and survived, I guess. Oh, fuck off, dog. No, actually, stay that. Stay that. I'm not very good at this, but come on. Two in the head. Come on, come on. Stay still, stay still. Come on. Three. Jesus, how many are you going to take? Oh my god, you guys and your unbearables. Ah, oh, good. Ah, oh, all right. You come here, love. Um, what's it? 